Kyle Shanahan's offense is an offense where you're often stunned by the play design and also the play calling. Kyle Shanahan will often run plays like a run to the left, a run to the left, a run to the left, and then come back on it on a boot action. The whole defense will jump on the run and then hit a huge touchdown for like 80 yards. But something that often doesn't get noticed are the type of players that Kyle Shanahan routinely brings onto his team, whether it be with the Atlanta Falcons or his current time with San Francisco. One of the type of players that I want to speak about today is a speedster. And during his time in the Atlanta Falcons days, he had Taylor Gabriel, and he ran his 40 yard time in 4.4 seconds. And Shanahan, frankly, got the most out of this speedster. And this is where I want to bring up today's topic and the player that I want to dive a little bit more deeply in that may be able to fit a role like Taylor Gabriel, who the Niners brought in this offseason in Chris Conley. And Conley is blistering fast. According to SB Nation, Conley ran his 40-yard dash in 4.35 seconds which was good for third fastest time amongst wide receivers at the Combine during his year. But Conley is much more than just a speedster. He's an athletic freak. Let's go over some of his numbers. He ran his 40 yard dash in 4.35 seconds, fantastic. But also his standing vertical leap, he jumped 45 inches, which was the best by a wide receiver during the draft his year and was almost a record combine which was set in 2006 which was 46 inches by Donald Washington. At the broad jump he jumped 11 feet 7 inches which was also a record for wide receivers and ties the combine record set by defensive end Jamie Collins in 2019 according to SB Nation. So now that we understand Conley is an athletic freak, we need to dive a little bit deeper into Conley's background so that we can understand who Conley actually is as a wide receiver. Is he solely just a burner or can he perhaps fit in a different type of role on the San Francisco 49ers offense? Conley's football career started at North Paulding High School in Dallas, Georgia. He was a wide receiver and even back then he was 6'3". And after receiving a couple of offers and being labeled a four-star recruit by 24-7 Sports, he enrolled at Georgia. And to say Conley was excited to play at Georgia would be an understatement because Conley actually arrived a semester early in January 2011 and played four years at Georgia before graduating and entering the 2015 NFL Draft. Across his time at Georgia, frankly, Conley put up some impressive numbers. Across his time, he averaged 17.3 yards a catch. He also had an impressive 1,938 receiving yards and 20 touchdowns across his four years from 2011 all the way to 2014. So with Conley's college career finished up, scouts had the time to peel back the layers and dive a little bit more deeply into what Conley does well, more than just looking at his 40-yard dash. So there were things that carried over from his athletic profile that he did well throughout his college football days. For instance, he accelerated extremely well through his deep balls and has this great ability to change gears. I think this is one of the most important things a wide receiver can have is the ability to smoothly change gears and really change it up on a cornerback by being able to have these different speeds you're able to kind of make yourself play even faster than the 4-3 time he runs. Conley also has great hands because on the film at times he makes these spectacular catches. So if those were Conley's strengths what were Conley's weaknesses? Well, he definitely needed to get stronger entering the NFL, and so far throughout his NFL career, I do think he's addressed this. And the Kansas City Chiefs did have faith in Conley because they selected him in round 3 with pick 12 of the 2015 NFL Draft. From 2015 all the way to 2018, Conley played with the Chiefs and amassed 1,238 yards and 6 touchdowns. 
Conley had his best year though in 2019 when he signed with the Jacksonville Jaguars and put up 775 yards, averaging 16.5 yards a catch and putting up 5 touchdowns on that season alone. Conley stayed with Jacksonville for one more year and during that year probably was his last truly good year where he put up 471 yards and two touchdowns. He then probably made the worst mistake of his career and went to the Texans where he only amassed 323 yards and two touchdowns. The following year, he was utilized even less, amassing 46 yards and zero touchdowns. 2022 was a scratch for Conley. So if we examine Chris Conley's career a little bit more deeply, we can see the times he's really succeeded is when the coach understands how to utilize his athletic freak profile to get the absolute most of them. And the player that is definitely competing with Conley is last year's pick Danny Gray. Danny Gray is also an athletic freak running his 40 yard dash in 4.33 seconds so this is no means Conley's job but it's nice to see Kyle Shanahan adding plenty of competition at each position and if I were to bet I would say Danny Gray does take this job the Niners invested more I also think Danny Gray is a little bit faster since Conley is getting a little bit up there in age but these are just my thoughts on the Niners' new deep threat, Chris Conley. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. It would also mean a ton to me if you liked and subscribed. Thank you guys so much for watching. It truly means a ton.